Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do like a full get ready with me, like makeup, hair, outfit, perfume, everything. And really quickly, I did my nails last night. Like I put on my Instagram story, like what shape and color should I do them? And everyone was saying almond. And I'd never actually done almond for myself. And I did them last night. And like, I am literally obsessed. I did smudge this one. If you can see, like it's kind of smudged here, but that's fine. But I'm literally obsessed with these. I did it with um, the nails from Amazon that I normally get, but I cut them like in an almond shape. And I'm so impressed with myself. Like these are the nicest ones I've done, I think. And the color is just beautiful. So I'm really, really happy with myself. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup, hair, pick an outfit, just get ready with me. Obviously I'm starting off with my Glow Recipe products because I'm literally obsessed. And I think this is how you meant to put toner on. It kind of works, but then also people put it on with like a cotton pad, so I'm kind of stuck. But I like putting on like this, but if I'm wrong, please tell me and please correct me. These just give you such a nice glow. Like, look how healthy and like shiny my face feels. And as we all know, I want my skin to literally feel wet before I put my makeup on. So these are literally perfect because they literally do it at the end they give you a glow. Next up, I'm using my Dew Drops and I just love these. They're so like moisturizing. Like, this whole range is just so good. If I was to tell you like one skin prep product out of like all the ones I use, it probably would be the Dew Drops because um, they're just so good. However, there is a NYX dupe. It's like the, oh God, I'm literally looking at it. It's called Plump Right Back Primer and it's, very similar like it gives a very similar like feel to the face which I think it's probably like half the price to be honest so if you're looking for more of an affordable one then that's probably the one to go for but literally just look at the shine on my face oh my god next up is the watermelon pink juice moisturizer and this is like so nice this is a more newer one that I've been using um but it just like adds an extra layer of moisturizer. And I think, especially for me, because I do my makeup in the morning and most of the time I'm not taking it off until the evening. So I like my makeup to be like looking as good as it can, like for the whole day, like probably about 10 hours. So I want it to be like as glowy and as dewy and stuff as possible the whole day. So this for me is like, just perfect having your skin feel so nice and just like plump and literally wet. I also find that like the wetter my face feels, the better my foundation kind of like sinks into my skin. So I'd say if you're having, if you're having trouble with like your makeup looking like it's sitting on your face rather than like sinking into your skin, I'd definitely like give doing a lot of skin prep a try. Cause I never used to do skin prep. It was probably only until like the beginning of this year that I thought, I'm going to start like doing like nice skin prep because I don't use skincare it was never like a thing that was like oh yeah I'm going to do this because I just like use skincare for fun rather than an actual routine but now that I've got this like every single time I do my makeup I use these four products. Putting on my foundation you can kind of see how easily it just literally melts straight into the skin and like, I don't know whether it's a combination of the fact that my skin has got such good like skin prep products or it's just the foundation itself because I'm not even gonna talk about the foundation because you're probably sick of me talking about it but it literally just bounces straight into your skin I cannot say enough about this foundation for concealer I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define concealers in shade C 5.7 and C 6.5 I love these so much this one the 6.5 one is more of like a pinky undertone and then the other one is like more of just like your neutral kind of vibe so I'm putting on it in these kind of areas and then just blend it out this again is such an easily like such an easy blending what am I trying to say it's really blendable so you can put like way if you put way too much on which I put quite a lot on today whoops um it just blends out and it looks like skin it just love it I blend my concealer out with a sponge always this one's from eco tools I believe I've really need probably need to get a new one because I've used this literally for years but it is so good it's really big like I feel like it's bigger than like your average one but it's like just the perfect size I think and it blends out 
so quickly and just like so easy my next step is cream bronzer and I'm going to go in with the Be Perfect bronzer in shade Pecan and I'm going to use my Sigma brush. I always get so many questions being like, what brushes do you use? So most of the time it's a Sigma brush. If it looks like this, it's from Sigma. Um, the gold foundation brush that I use is from Morphe. I think it was like a special Christmas one, but I'm pretty sure they just got like your normal one, if that makes sense. I think it's literally just like a foundation brush, I believe. And then I use, for if I'm doing an eyeshadow, I use the GGB um, Cosmetics brushes. They're so good. And the eyeshadow palette that she's brought out is so good as well. But the um, eyeshadow brushes are so nice and fluffy. Sometimes I use them for nose contour, actually. But they're kind of the three places that I've got my brushes from. But the majority are Sigma. If, like, yeah, if it's black with, like, the silver hand, like, the silver bit. It's from Sigma. I'm just bronzing up the outside of my face, like my cheekbones, a bit of my jawline and then my forehead just because I want it to look a bit darker. My last cream product is the Rimmel, what's it actually called? Rimmel Tinted Multi Stick in shade Pink Heat. And I use this for blush. I love it so much. I used to use the Be Perfect Cosmetics, like the cheek, which is really good. I'm just like preferring this at the minute, but I just kind of take it on my brush again, Sigma setting powder brush but I use it for blush and just focus it on like the high points of your cheek I like to keep mine very like up because I want my face to look a bit more lifted but if you want it like your face to look a bit rounder then like I think do it here I think that's what I've seen on like TikTok and I just put a bit over my nose moving on to setting powder I think this is the most important step if you're wanting like an airbrush kind of under eye look having a good powder and having like a good setting routine is perfect so i've would say that i've perfected mine you might think otherwise but this is what i do so i use the huda beauty setting powder in shade cupcake and this is really i think the word is like finely milled like it's really fine like you don't get like lumps of it at all and i make sure that i've blended out my concealer completely so there's no creases nothing and then let me just make sure there's no creases. And then on a dry beauty blender or like a um, powder puff or anything, get your powder and then in the palm of your hand, like put it in and just like bounce it round to like disperse the powder all over your um, all over your beauty blender. And then really lightly just tap where you want to set. And for me, this is literally just like perfect. And then it's just kind of set. So again, just getting the powder on my beauty blender, bouncing it into my hand just to make sure it's all even and then literally very lightly tapping where I want to set. I'm then gonna take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade Transparent and on the same beauty blender, it doesn't really matter. Just take a bit and do it under my under eyes just because I think this adds a little bit of coverage as well as making it look really flawless. For my powder products, I'm going to use the Sigma Powder Bronzer and then the Sigma Powder Blush as well. And I'm just going to take on the same two brushes that I used for cream, like, versions of them. And just take very lightly and just kind of go over where you did the original cream bronzer. Someone messaged me the other day actually saying that, messaged me or, like, put, commented or something saying that their bronzer goes really patchy when they do it over their cream bronzer. And I think... For me, I use a very light hand when going over, and I don't, that might be why, or it might be that the products just don't really agree. Maybe I'm just lucky that the two products that I use go really well together. I'm just gonna bronze up my nose a little bit, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer on this um, eyeshadow brush, and just really lightly take it down, pretty much like the center, like very close to the center of my nose, just so it's like making it look a little bit skinnier. That's really all I do for nose contour. I kind of go around it with like the bronzer brush, just kind of like this. But I think it's very important, even if you're not trying to like change the shape of your nose that much, to contour it because with foundation, it can just kind of get lost in your face and then it looks like you've like not really got a nose. Well, obviously not, but you know what I mean. This blusher is like my favorite thing ever. I think it gives such a nice, I think it complements 
like my skin tone really well so and they have like quite a lot of shades so I think you'd find one that would if you don't have the, like the same skin tone as me that would like suit your skin tone as well and I just kind of take this same area that I did my cream blush bring it slightly more forward just to blend it kind of all in together but making sure to focus it on this kind of area last but not least for my base I've got my highlight and I've still not invested in any highlight if you watch my video I was talking about the fact that I needed one um I will buy one I promise but just not yet I'm just taking that on like the high points of my cheeks I don't really know what they're meant to be called and then on like a dense really thin brush I'm gonna go down like my nose and do it on the tip of my nose just kind of like that so it just catches the light makes it look a bit more defined I guess there we go with all my base products done I'm going to just set it quickly with the airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury what else would it be and then I can do my eyes and my lips and eyebrows and stuff to put my eyebrows in place I'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and I just like rake this through my brows really through my brows just to kind of give them a bit of stability maybe because I do have very fine brow hairs and they're also quite light so just to make sure they're in the right place they're behaving I'll just kind of brush them up like this I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera and I'm going to use the revolution duo brow pencil I think it's called in shade dark brown and I'm just going to use a sigma winged liner brush to do them just so it's like as precise as possible okay i'm back my eyebrows are done they were so good today like i really like how they look and they were like so quick to do so perfect and now it's time for eyeliner so i'm going to use my collection eyeliner in shade brown and i just love it i've actually got a bit more confident and i don't use my brush anymore so we'll see how this goes i'm just gonna like wipe off the excess on the like applicator and then really lightly, I'm nervous now, oh, I've got like an audience. Just draw a line, like that. And then just connect it to your eye. Okay, so that is my first eye done. I'm going to do that. Well, actually, I've not done the inner corner, but I'm going to do this side now. That is both wings done. First time lucky as well. This eye eyeliner is actually really good as well because it goes like flaky when you try and take it off. It stays on for so long. But if you try and take it off, it comes off so easily. So like... Not that I'm going to do it now because I like my wing, but you can actually just go like this with your finger and just like rub it off and then just like do it again. It doesn't like smudge or anything, it dries so quickly. So I'd say if you're like a beginner with eyeliner, this is like the perfect one to start with. Then last but not least in my makeup routine is lips and I'm going to use the L'Oreal, L'Oreal lip liner in shade 630. It's got like a name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So 630. Is the shade name and I'm just going to I don't know if you can see let me rub off my lip balm I've got like a bit of I think it what it's called is a double lip line so it's like my lip kind of goes out but it's not like pink slash red all the way so I kind of just make that bit colored and that doesn't really look like I've overlined them if that makes sense for my lipstick I'm going to use the Luster lipstick from Primark and I've realised every time I've told you what lipstick I'm wearing I've said Luster lipstick from Primark because it says Luster on it. The shade is actually called Barely There so I'm really sorry but I just assumed that Luster was the shade name but it's not I'm guessing that's like the type of li like the lipstick range they've got so yeah it's called Barely There and the only reason I realised was because when my best friend Charlotte I um was at one of my friend's houses and she got out her luster lipstick from Primark and I was like oh my is that from Primark she's like yeah, yeah yeah and I was like wait what like it's a completely different shade to my luster lipstick from Primark and then I realized and hers was like called something completely different and I was like oh my god mine's literally not even called luster so apologies for that I really wasn't trying to like gatekeep the shade but it is called barely there and it's so good it's also like really moisturising. I'm then just going to set my lipstick, which I know is like a weird step for some people, but I just way prefer a matte lip, but I don't actually have any matte lipstick or anything, and I just prefer to do it this way. It also keeps it on for like so much longer. So I'm just going to get the same like powder, kind of tap it off on my hand, 
and then literally set my lips as I set the rest of my face. And that is my makeup done. I'm now gonna move on to hair. I'm gonna use my hair extensions and like do my hair like nice and long. Oh, I've forgotten to set it again. I need to set my face again, one sec. Now that my face is like all set, this is the makeup close up. Very boring, just my average like go-to makeup look, but never fails me, love it so much. So moving on to my hair. For my hair extensions, I use these ones from Clip Hair and they're the Remy Royale clip-ins in shade Barbie Blonde, I believe I am. And they're so good for me. It's perfect because it's got like a really, really thin, I spoke about this in my like Beauty Essentials video, but they've got like a really, really thin like track. I think that's what it's called. Like, like the clip-in bit is so thin. So when you've got your hair like, cause I've got quite fine hair, it just like, doesn't stick out isn't bulky at all and it like fits really like flat to your head which is perfect for me so i'm just going to put them in i'm going to tell you the order i'll put them in and kind of show you how to fit them so they'll last all day so i have a two like two clip one and this one goes like at the very bottom of my hair like literally right at the bottom i'll show you that one then i've got a four clip which is the next one that i put in And I put this one kind of like this kind of level here. I then put a two one, which I've actually cut to be like kind of like staggered going down. And then a three, um, like round, so it kind of makes a five round my head. And then last but not least, I put another four like at the very top of my head, if that makes sense. So what I do is part my hair literally right at the bottom. I'll turn around to show you in a sec. And then just clip it up with like a claw clip. Then taking a backcombing brush, I'll backcomb two sections where like my, the clips are gonna be. I just know where they are, but if you don't, just like line them up, then do it. So I just backcomb them like this. You can always brush the backcomb out, so don't think that you're gonna like rip your hair out when you are. Just do it like that. And then literally all you do is unclip the clips obviously and then it literally just slide it in into the back comb and then just clip it like that and then literally just do it on the other side the reason for back combing it just means it's a lot more secure like it's got actual grip rather than like if you literally like pulled it it would come out like these literally don't move i'll have these in like i wore clip in extensions for my prom and i'm pretty sure i did them at like i don't even know but like they last so long. Then moving up, I've just parted my hair just slightly above my ears and then I'll back comb four sections because the next clip has four clips. Then just unclip them and clip them in. I like to do the middle ones first when you've got like one like this or like a three because it then means like you can then just like adjust where you're gonna clip it at the front rather than having to faff around at the back of your head. This is what it's looking like from the back, just very, just like very flat to my head. I'm just gonna quickly run the straightener over them as well, just to make sure all the hair is kind of blended together, like the same kind of straightness, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna put the rest of my extensions in and then I'll be back. This is the finished product for my hair. Like you can just see how well the extensions blend in. Like you literally can't even tell my hair apart from them. If I'm gonna be completely honest, like, Love them so much and they're just like really lightweight. I do go through with a bit of Olaplex oil at the end. I know it's a bit, it might seem stupid because obviously it's not my real hair, but it makes it feel so soft and it also like, I do put it in my actual hair and it just really blends in well, makes like the flyaways kind of go away, makes it really nice and shiny. So that is everything I do with my hair. I also have to use the GHD Bodyguard heat protection spray when I'm straightening my hair just because... I want to make sure because it is real human hair it's like it can still get heat damaged I'm pretty sure so I just like to make sure that I'm keeping it in as best condition as I can because I want these to last for as long as possible basically so yeah now that my hair is done let's pick an outfit just realized I don't know if I've actually ever shown you my like filming room this is a little insight into what it looks like when I've not tidied it just stuff all over the floor hopefully that mirror is getting replaced but I don't know if it is or not. Um, 
I'm currently just in my little dressing gown, but I picked out my outfit. I'm gonna go with my trusty Opoly bodysuit, my cream one. It's just the best. Like, I am obsessed with that. And you know, in my essentials video, um, like my wardrobe essentials video, I spoke about the fact that skims have like a bit that goes around your body that actually fits the average human being. Well, Opoly, I'm like crouching. I'm trying to like get into the frame properly. Opoly have got two like clip bits like you've got two options of where you want to like clip your thing into so it's like perfect if you've got a bit of a longer torso or like anything if you want to be a bit, bit more comfortable so that is actually such I didn't even realize but it's such a good feature so I'm gonna wear that and under it I'm gonna put my skims bra now these bras are so good I'm out of breath because I'm so excited about my outfit <laughs> because it's like the most basic outfit ever but I just love it but this Skims bra, this is like one of their, I'm gonna go, it's like seamless bra of some kind, but it is so like buttery. This isn't like an ad or anything, by the way. It's like so buttery and like just so nice. And it's like the amount of shades they've got are perfect. So when I'm tanned, I pick this one and it like blends into my skin really well. Obviously I'm not as tanned as this, but like, it just blends in really well and under like a white top even if it's normally see-through you literally can't see it and because it's so like seamless you can't even tell you've got a bra on so if you're ever asking me like where my bra is from if I'm wearing like a pale coloured outfit it will be this skims bra it's just so good for my jeans I'm gonna wear my pretty little thing like baggy boyfriend jeans because I love them they're so comfy they're just like really easy to kind of move around in it's just like the best ever if you want to know like my essentials i did do like a wardrobe essentials video a couple maybe like a week ago like a couple weeks ago and just like went through everything that i reached for in my wardrobe so these are one of the jeans i always reach for but i'm gonna get changed and come back so this is my outfit just this bodysuit and then my nice baggy jeans this is kind of what they look like on they are very baggy but that is like exactly how i want them so now for perfume i've got some new perfumes to try out so I've got them from Cinemask and I've got four, so I thought I'd try them out with you. First up, we have Amber Rose and this is like, the packaging is so nice. It's so like luxurious looking and I'm just gonna spray it like in front of me and then I can choose my favorite to put on. Oh, that's nice. It's like, we know my perfume explanations are so bad, but it's quite like, It's really nice. That's all I can say. Like it's um, it's quite strong. Like it's nice and like I feel like if you walked past someone, you'd be like, "Ooh, what are they wearing?" Like rather than just be like, "Oh, this is nice." If that makes sense. Then we have Soft Paradise. I like these packaging. Like look at that. It just looks so like bougie, doesn't it? Like, ooh, hello. Not me thinking like my favorite ones because of, like the way they look this one. Oh, it smells nice. It's giving like expensive hotel perfume. Like I feel like if you went to like a five star hotel in like Dubai and they put perfume like in your room, it would smell like this. So nice. Oh, so nice. That just smells like rich. That smells expensive. Love that, that is soft paradise. We then have golden dust, which this packaging, I'm sorry, it's all just so like luxurious looking. Oh, this bottle looks expensive. Oh my God, I can't get it out. Right. Oh, it's fresh. Oh, it's gone up right on my nose. Oh my god, it smells lovely. Let's try it again. Let's just waft that. It smells just really fresh. Like, it smells expensive. That is literally the way I can describe these. They smell expensive. They smell like you'd walk past them and be like, mm, she knows what she's doing. Then last but not least, we have Night Illusion, which the names of these as well, I think are really cool. Like they're a bit more 
out there than just like your basic perfume. So this one is like a little purple packaging. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, that's sweet. That's like fresh, sweet. Love that. Oh my God, love that. That is so nice. I absolutely love all of these. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love the red one. It's kind of like a nighttime kind of perfume. Purple gives like daytime, like fresh, sweet smelling. And these two are just like expensive. That's all I can describe them as. They just smell so expensive. But I hope you kind of got the gist of what these smell like and try them out. But thank you very much for Santa Mask for sponsoring this part of the video. And that is the get ready with me complete. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was like a good video to watch. But yeah, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Love you.